Tonight on Wise Guy. I need one man, Agent Vincent Terranova. God, I love this town! There's an intentional power vacuum being created here, and you're being sucked into it. You're about to deal with vipers. I recommended you be put in charge of investigating a threat against American interests. Vincent Terranova, meet General Leland Masters. This man is a four-star icon. Masters thinks there's a covert action in place used to destroy the Japanese economy. He wants me to find out who within U.S. borders is behind it. Someone with department clearance has been shot. I am in control here. I am claiming jurisdiction under the Felony Enhancement Project. We can't let any of this stuff get traced back to us. Frank, you'll serve as interim director until Beckstead's return. I want all the evidence returned to DC police immediately. This is a conspiracy, Mark. The person that ended his life did so for reasons that transcend a little money or a quick fix. Terranova be damned. Reparations are gonna be paid by this boy. He doesn't come without a lot of questions. The answer is treason, and he's gonna be strung up for it. I can have the trade bill out of my committee and on the Senate floor in a week. That's excellent. And our opposition? I have a list of the fence-sitters in the Senate. We're three votes shy of locking it up. Pickering? Won't budge. But Delaney's vulnerable. He needs help on his mass transit bill. I think I can cut a deal. Murphy. About to lose an Air Force base in the most depressed part of his state. He'll vote with us. If you can keep it open. What about that, Walter? Sir, the Secretary of Defense is uh, not very forthcoming. I'll speak to him myself. Thank you, General. Admiral? Thank you, Senator. We'll keep you informed of our progress. Thank you so much. Thanks, sir. Non-genuine destabilization. I'd love to get a look at Valenti's face when he realizes he's laid the groundwork for the war effort. We can't let any of this stuff get traced back to us. Yes, sir. The only copy in existence will be in Kay Gallagher's firm. All right, then. 
What about OCB? DeWitt Clifton's waiting in my office. Bring him in. Yes, sir. Cliff, come on in. I'd like you to meet General Leland Masters. I'm honored, General. Good. Have a seat. I understand it's only within the matter of the last few days that you've been in charge of OCB. Yes, sir. Well, this isn't the kind of thing in which you want to get your feet wet, but we have no choice. The National Security Commission is facing a dire situation. I can't tell you any more about it at this time, but we need the assistance of OCB. Of course, General. You'll have all of the resources at OCB at your disposal. I don't need all the resources. Just one man. Agent Vincent Terranova. Terranova? Hmm. Vincent? It's an unusual name. You'll remember it. Oh, yes, uh, of course. When do you need him? Walter, I'll give you the particulars. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anything I can do. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Always good to see you, Cliff. I knew he'd be putty, but uh, Terranova is another matter. Terranova be damned. The son of a bitch turned a beautifully conceived notion into a public embarrassment that'll take decades to clean up. Il Pavo is our island. Now it's in the hands of some third world Lilliputians who mock us at every turn. Reparations are gonna be paid by this boy. He doesn't come without a lot of questions. The hell with his questions. The answer is treason, and he's going to be strung up for it. Hey, Frank. How you doing? Good. Good. So has uh, Clifton mentioned my promotion? Well, not in so many words. Frank, it's only one word. Well, it's one word we didn't use. <laughs> a promotion from his office would technically make me your superior. Is that what's bothering you? What? Exiting National, 1350 hours. What's bothering you, Frank? Things are not normal around here, Vince. You got a call from Clifton, not Beckstead. You know why? Because last week, Beckstead got sent to Thailand on some sort of an extended training program. Mark's in charge. He's in over his head, and Clifton knows it. On the same day Beckstead gets sent to Thailand and Mark's put in charge, you get called down for a little chat about a promotion. There's an intentional power vacuum being created here, and you're being sucked into it. Oh, isn't that nice? You're worried about me. Now, you listen to me. You're about to deal with vipers. I thought I was coming in from the cold. These are dangerous men, Vinny. They've tasted power, and they're addicted to it. If they sense a threat to their position on the daisy chain, they'll cut your heart out and look you in the eye while they do it. I've dealt with dangerous men before, Frank. They lived outside the law. The great equalizer was that you represented the system. They carry the law in their briefcases. You cross them, you're the one on the outside. The laws they carry in their briefcases are my laws too, Frank. Anywhere you find power, you're gonna find men going about the business of trying to corrupt it. They wallow in the trappings of power, hoping it'll stick, but it never does. Real power comes from the heart, Frank. It comes from resolute men who put universal ideals above self-aggrandizement. I'll stop the car. Pull over. Now get out here with me. Ah. Look around you, Frank. Look at it. I know what you see. You see this marble and granite housing these fang-toothed venomous creatures, brokering power for their own self-interest. But you know what I see? Jimmy Stewart? Yeah, you're damn right, Jimmy Stewart. I see the surviving and the prevailing of truth, Frank. And your vipers can, can gerrymander and pork barrel and burgle and assassinate us till doomsday. And it's to no avail, and you know why? 
because truth is self-evident. And once there's truth, there's no denying it. And I know you know that. God, I love this town! Yes! They're on the mall, 14, 10 hours. And these guys, Frank, these guys stood up to your vipers and they built the best nation on Earth. Don't you feel it? Put your hand on your heart, Frank. Feel it, no. You look at these monuments. You look at these monuments and you tell me that your heart isn't beating just a little bit faster. You tell me that's not why you became a guardian of truth. Now don't give me that cynical puss, Frank, do it. Do it for me, put your hand on your heart. Do it for me. You see? God, I love this place! God. Makes me feel like a little kid. Don't you feel like a little kid? Yeah, I feel like a little kid. What? I also feel ridiculous. Get in the car. Just get in the car. Snakes don't live too bad here, huh, Frank? <laughs> here you go, pal. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, this is very nice. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I mean, my room is between the ice machine and the freight elevator. Hey, Frank, you want some, uh... Make some... sure they press your tux. Oh, curmudgeon. Twenty-one hundred hours entering Clifton party. I'll go not from man for cloth. Next day, three dozen rabbis show. <laughs> <laughs> what? Senator gets law for Delaney. They're nominating this kid Dixon to run against me in the fall. He's thirty-six with a long list of successful prosecutions and a full head of hair. So, what can I do to help? She did everything she could to repudiate my testimony at the Il Pavol hearings. Janet, I need your help on this transit bill. Oh, well, I need a little help from you, too. Uh, you I'd may like need to some... talk to you about You may need some help. Yeah, well, they were on camera. Vinny. How you doing, Mark? It's great to see you. Likewise. DeWitt Clifton, this is Vincent Taranova. Yes, indeed. Good meeting you at last. Thank you. Glad you came. Uh, we'll talk in the morning, OK? Well, what a warm and friendly man. <laughs> oh, he's a little preoccupied. Leland Masters is supposed to be here. Who? National Security Commission? Mark, can I see you for a minute? Admiral Stryken. Senator, I just want you to know I love the spirit behind your trade bill. Senator Getzloff's trade bill throws up a fence around our borders, and what it subsidizes is American companies that are producing inferior products. It ensures that we're all playing by the same rules. And if the rules are equal, I will bet on American industry every time. Senator, I understand you're going to be facing a real challenger at the polls. Well, I've faced them before. Yes, but not one who's going to point out your refusal to protect American industry against a foreign invasion. Look at this. Strikings here. Living proof of your viper theory. Fangs and all. Well, he's part of the establishment. Should be part of the prison system. Vinny, Dr. and Mrs. Valeni. This is Vinny Terranova. Dr. Valeni was a professor of mine. Dr. Valeni served on the Council of Economic Advisors, Brookings Institute, Harvard Economic Review. Please, Mark. Can't hold a job, huh? Vinny. You can't be from D.C. No. Nope. Brooklyn. I got cousins in Flatbush. Not Valeni's pastry. Yeah! <laughs> you know, you ought to give those guys a plug on your interview shows. Well, I only do them when they want an economist who's mistrusted by the Democrats and the Republicans alike. And I have an ego. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but I have a taping at 5 o'clock in the morning. It's uh, nice to meet you, Vinny. Yeah, you too. You're coming over Sunday for the game. Bring Vinny with you if you're going to be in town. Yes. Hey, thanks. Good night, Claire. Take it easy. I love that, man. His potluck lunches kept me alive in college. Loves the Redskins. Admiral? I see the Terranovas here. Yes, sir. 
it's what you wanted, wasn't it? Thanks, Cliff. I appreciate it. Admiral Stryker. <laughs> Walter, where have you been hiding? My office. I only go out when it's dark. <laughs> Roosevelt. Ah, come on. The Roosevelt. This generation of Americans has a rendezvous with Most destiny. Thank you. <laughs> beautiful ice sculpture, isn't it? Not as beautiful as what's next to it. Who is that? He's the future, Kay. The future of this town. Thank you. How you doing? I'm doing well, but I work hard at it. Well, it's good. I believe in hard work. Oh, how do you feel about spontaneous sex? What? I'm sorry, I'm so forward. I have no excuse for myself. These parties, I'm surrounded by either married men or single men with mother complexes, and you didn't look as if you've carried in any of that baggage, have you? Well, that depends on who I'm with. Pardon? I'm still working on the spontaneous sex thing. Oh. You're with me. Okay. So what is it you do? I'm with Justice. What about you? I represent various interests here in Washington. I see. Have you ever seen the city from a widow's walk? Not yet. Breathe deep the gathering gloom, Frank. Intoxicating, isn't it? The center of power on Earth. It's the center of principle, Catherine. Good evening, Dr. Valenti. What's shaking it, babe? Oh, my God. <gasps> No money. Left breast pocket. We've got a problem. Take a look at this, Marty. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is Cermak. There's been a homicide at 6401 Wisconsin. The victim had a hey, level Frank. one security clearance. You having a good time? There's been uh, someone with department clearance has been shot. I, uh, what? I have to get over there. Frank, I never had to handle anything like this before. Come on. Sixty-four hundred block of Wisconsin. Looks like some sort of police situation. Oh one thirty hours. Robbery homicide. Another crackhead on the make. Hey, Mark, let's sit down for a second. I'm in control here. I am in control. Hey, Mark, these guys can handle it. I am claiming jurisdiction under the Felony Enhancement Project. Yeah, it's okay with me, pal. I'm on OT already. What is that? What is that supposed to do? It's supposed to locate Leighton's. We gotta get him out of here. I want ballistics, toxicology, 
I want that security camera's tape sent to OCB ASAP. Mark, you listen to me. These are your guys. They're the best in the world. You let them do their job. I have to be here, Frank. Mark, don't you think you should talk to Claire? Margaret, you must have done something to it. Why is that automatically my fault? It was working this morning. So I haven't been on all day either. I don't know what's wrong with it. I can't get any pictures here. The video games aren't working. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How do you work that image enhancement? Oh, I can't figure it out. The ballistics is useless. 22 mushroom dawn impact striations destroyed. These can be enhanced pixel line by pixel line. And hey, Mark. What about toxicology? We don't have a report yet. Mark. Why not? Mark, Mark, listen to me, listen. I know what obsession is. I went through it when my brother died. You went through it with me, you remember? Now you help me then, I'm here for you now. You can't be of value unless you're in control of what's driving you. Gentlemen? Mark, I'm placing you on restricted duty so you can be with his family. They need your strength now, so you can help them with the emotional strain. Now send Claire my love, tell her we're doing all we can. And take some time, Mark. Take as much time as you need. Thank you, sir. Frank, you'll serve as interim director until Beckstead's return. I want all the evidence returned to DC police immediately. Well, we have it right here. We might as well take a look at it. Yes, sir. Vincent, we have a meeting. Return the evidence, Frank. You're an administrator now. Yes, sir. Where are we going? There are opportunities that come along once in a lifetime, Vincent. This is one of them. You've been requested to serve the National Security Commission. Why? That's on a need-to-know basis. I don't need to know. Present your credentials. We'll be led through a series of security checks and into the basement. You'll proceed to office B-135, sir. Excuse me. Our meeting is an occasion. But black tie is hardly required. The invasion of Il Pavo is an illegal covert operation. It was your baby. A friend and colleague of mine died because of it. Doesn't look like you've suffered at all. Vincent, you flatter me. To think that the liberation of a hostage-held nation could be created at my level, that's fantasy. Your testimony before committee was fantasy. You said that true democracy can only be achieved if the people wanted it, that it can't be imposed by force. I know you don't believe that. Fire still burns, Vincent. That's very good. What am I doing here? I recommended you be put in charge of investigating a threat against American interests. And why am I the guy you recommended? Because you despise me. Sir. Yes, sir, of course. This way, Vincent, please. Vincent Terranova, meet General Leland Masters. Agent Terranova. General Masters. Did you brief him? Sir, I'd assumed you wanted to handle the specifics. Thank you, Walter. Yes, sir. Nice talking to you, Vincent. 
Thank you. You've dealt a severe blow to the cause of freedom in this hemisphere. Excuse me? Io Pavo. You believe zealots within our government orchestrated the takeover. You stopped it. Why? Because it was illegal, unjustified, and morally bankrupt. You know who controls Io Pavo today? Gaston Richard. He's conducted a systematic purge of the island, imprisoning and killing all those who don't subscribe to his Marxist-Leninist beliefs. All the killing fields are not in Cambodia. So much for moral bankruptcy. Morality does not sway with the prevailing breeze, General. The morality that steers this country is written on documents in the National Archives. Now, they say a lot of things, but it boils down to just one. The end does not justify the means. This is one of the most powerful weapons in the world. Take a look at it. Go on. It's a printing plate, the Japanese yen. It's a copy. The original was intercepted and allowed to continue on its route. So what? You caught a counterfeiter? If it was that simple, we wouldn't have asked for you. No. We believe a plan exists to undermine the economy of Japan. We believe there are individuals or groups within the United States within the United States, Agent Aranova, whose laws you've sworn an oath to uphold. Individuals or groups who've decided to declare economic war on Japan. And the introduction of currency into the Japanese economy is part of that declaration. This parcel containing the original plate was damaged in transit to Tenza, Kurtzman and Lloyd, a lobbying firm with extensive contacts in the Middle East, Latin America and Germany. So you mean to tell me that the most powerful economy in the world is about to be destroyed by a Capitol Hill PR firm? No, thank you. It's your moral duty to stop it. I have a meeting tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock in the West Wing. I'll need your answer by then. Thank you, Agent Teranova. Thank you. How was the meeting? It was at the White House. Oh, thank you. Uh, get me the file on General Lima Masters, please. Uh, just his address for a Christmas list. There's no hurry. You come in here. Hey, what the hell's going on here? You spent the last hour with Admiral Strike and General Leland Masters. Yeah. The National Security Commission has intercepted a plate used to counterfeit Japanese yen. Now, Masters thinks there's a covert action in place to destroy the Japanese economy. He wants me to find out who within U.S. borders is behind it. I want to know who General Leland Masters is. He just can't indiscriminately request classified information on a man like General Leland Masters. Why not? Who is he that I can't ask? Vinny, this man is a four-star icon. He was on the death march through Bataan. He entered Berlin with the First Army and helped destroy Nazi Germany. Then he stayed on with Marshall to help rebuild it. And why don't I know him? Because he doesn't care about having high schools named after him. He just wants to get the job done. So why does he want me? For precisely that reason, a guy who smokes cigars with Churchill does not need to jerk around Vinny Terranova. Yeah. This is the current policy of the regime in Il Pavo right now, with your four-star icon laid at my doorstep. Striking answers to him. Well, you weren't wrong about Il Pavo. Yeah, I know that. In some ways, neither was he. Frank, the invasion of Il Pavot had nothing to do with establishing democracy. It was about creating a beachhead for a bottling company. And me being here, it's a complete lie. Clifton's fairy tale about me having a promotion. 
Man, you were right, Frank. You were right. I'm being sucked into something here. I don't know if it's a power vacuum or what it is. Uh, what is it? The bullet that killed Valente was packed with curare. It was an assassination, Vince. Let me see that. We know where Mark Cermak is. 11.30 hours, entered 5203 P Street, Georgetown. Everything's gone on Dr. Valenti's hard drive. It's the same thing on all his personal software. Document file not found, abort retry. I have been here since 8 o'clock this morning. Tapes, floppies, everything on his hard drive, it's all been erased. I want to be reinstated to full duty, Frank. Mark, here. Now sit down. And you can't be reinstated without drawing attention. Dr. Valenti was a theoretician. His whole life was paradigms and flowcharts. This is a conspiracy, Mark. The person that ended his life did so for reasons that transcend a little money or a quick fix. We're supposed to ignore a murder because of a conspiracy. No, we don't ignore a murder. But we have to know who it is. Well, they should know us. We're being watched out there. They just got made. Whoever it is is just going to be replaced by somebody else. They could have been watching you or you or me. Yeah, or this house. Well, what do we do? I just can't sit here. We have to find out what Valenti was working on. There has to be a hard copy somewhere. Can you find it? Yeah. When you get whatever you get, then you come back to the OCB and you act like a good bureaucrat. No, I think I am getting the hang of this thing. But he's not giving us anything we can use. Dr. Valeni just published a paper on the macroeconomics of the Caribbean Basin. For whom? OECS. Before that, he created a model for non-genuine destabilization. His benchmark is the contemporization of comparative advantage. What is that? It's an outmoded theory that the most efficient form of national economy is based solely on a country's natural resources. Dr. Valenti repostulated it, arguing that the most powerful economy in the world, Japan's, is based not on what's in the ground, but what's on it, people. Until then, people hadn't been considered a natural resource. Or well, was he some kind of an expert on the Japanese economy? No, they were just an appropriate example. Well, what's a model for non-genuine destabilization? A diagram for waging economic war through counterfeiting. What is it? What? You know how that diagram worked? No, but I have the treatise. Who commissioned it? Tenzer, Kurtzman, and Lloyd, account executive Catherine Gallagher. You see that. fundamental model of non-genuine destabilization. Production. 
to produce enough counterfeit currency to destabilize Japan is a monumental task. Now, who has the means to do such a thing except another government? Another government, Frank? Why does it always have to be Washington, Vinny? Now, why couldn't it be a cartel of industrialists? I suppose it could be. I just don't see the difference. All right, all right, all right, all right. Whoever it is, there's a second step invasion. You bastardize the yen, but the delivery is an impossible problem, except for another government. Private sector operates fleets of C-130s. You have a cabal of industrialists or governments, either of which has to make sure that destabilizing Japan doesn't hurt their own economy. They have to defend against their own conspiracy. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, defense for a government would be restricted trade legislation, right? Like Getzloff's trade bill. Every year there's a trade bill, every year it fails. Most of the time it doesn't make it out of committee. If you want something done and done quickly, look to the private sector. Guys, we are not getting anywhere. All right, Frank, good. just go on then. All right, discovery. You don't have a snowball's chance in hell of pulling it off. Private sector. Speed of implementation means greater effect before discovery. Governments are inert. This would show up in the post before it even hit Tokyo. Accountability. <laughs> What's the downside? If it's the private sector, there's a two-year investigation, a slap on the wrist, a few more regulations, end of story. But the government loses everything, Frank. It's loss of consensus. And a government without consensus goes away the Nixon administration. Yeah, unless they had a fall guy. This is mental masturbation. We are babbling about a blue sky theory that nobody in their right mind would attempt to implement. Don't you do it, Vince. What? Leland Masters put a plate to counterfeit yen in my hand. He told me this theory is going into effect. He wants me to find out who's behind it. That information is not to leave this room. Then it's no longer a theory, it's actual fact. That's right. Well, why did we torture ourselves arguing over its validity? Because I think Masters is behind it. I wanted to see how it worked. You're insane. Do you know who he is? Yes, I know who he is, and it makes perfect sense. He's got the ability to produce and deliver. Look at the resources he has, not only in the federal government, but in the private sector, too. Okay? Defense. Now, everybody knows he's been quietly strong-arming for Getzloff's trade bill. Discovery. That's me. He wants to leave a trail for me to find his fall guy. That's accountability. You're suggesting he was also responsible for Dr. Valeni's death. Well, why did he pick you? because I testified against them at Il Pavo. I derailed their covert operation. Now, it's on record where I stand and how I feel about them. Mark, after all, I am a federal agent with the Justice Department. If I can make their case, in spite of how I feel about them, who would dispute it? Again, accountability. I'm supposed to find their scapegoat. Another uh, Dean or other one? Yeah. A Kay Gallagher. Well, there it is, gentlemen. General Leland Masters is going to produce and dump untold sums of counterfeit yen into the Japanese economy. He's going to defend our borders with Senator Getzloff's trade bill. He knows it's going to be discovered, so he's got me to lay it all at Kay Gallagher's feet. Oh, what a nice surprise. Hello. We need a place to talk. Oh, come into my office. Grace, no calls, please. I understand you control this lobbying firm. That's correct, yeah. Then why isn't it Tenzer, Kurtzman, Lloyd, and Gallagher? Because I'm alive. You're alive. Yes. Tenzer is in a rest home in Sarasota. Kurtzman's in a tomb on Long Island. And Lloyd is in that urn over there. Washington worships the dead, Vinnie. Why fly in the face of that? I need all your files and documents pertaining to the Japanese Ministry of International Trade and Industry. I can wait for a warrant if that's necessary.
Grace, I need the duplicate set of files on the Japanese Ministry ASAP and prepare this letter immediately. I hereby acknowledge receipt of all documents and materials, confidential and otherwise, belonging to Tenzer, Kurtzman and Lloyd as pertains to the Japanese Ministry of International Trade and Industry. The confidentiality of said materials will not be violated. Signed as accepted and adhered to Vincent, what's your middle name? Michael. Michael Terranova is agent for the Justice Department of the United States of America, dated, and I'll need you to notarize. Any interrogation you're entertaining is going to have to wait till my attorney can be present. Fine. Okay, the files are at reception. Sign this. He's to sign for the documents as well. There you go. Thank you, Grace. Welcome. Next time you decide to pop by, make an appointment first. Guess that means dinner's out of the question. Tuesday's free. Great. Grace, get Mr. Carota on the line. See if you can move him up a day. See you Tuesday. The Japanese ministry's on a $20,000 a month retainer to TKL. Every time someone sneezes, a memo goes out. Oh. Vince, it could take months to go through this stuff. Days, anyway. Something here yet that helps. All right, you postpone the meeting. I can't, Frank. It's a red flag. I told you this is a dangerous place. Now, it is conceivable that Masters is connected to Valenti's murder. Now, you can't mention it. There's nothing to link him to it. You might be putting a gun to your own head or pointing out tracks that he needs to cover. Yeah, well, I'm sure he knows the tracks to cover. He is, after all, a four-star icon. There you go. All right, wait a second. Vince. Yeah, you take this. Whatever he has to say, it might be worth hearing. The American people have come to see their strength as inherent, as if it existed as naturally as the marble and stone of the institutions that have come to house their laws and lawyers. Because it's quite all right to encase lawyers in stone, but not the law. Our strength is not inherent. It comes from there. We bleed for it, we die for it, and then, damn it, we forget it. We start fretting about media gnats and worrying about how our actions will be perceived. All those men who built our country, they didn't give a damn about perceptions. They were revolutionaries, a lot of them, all the way through Lincoln. They fought for truth, for the people, and hanged the damn perception. It's no mistake that we declared our independence with self-evident truths. That's why you're here, isn't it? I'm here for justice. And inasmuch as justice is found in truth, and it's inherent in alienable right, I guess I am here for that reason. In general, I don't give a damn how I'm perceived. The more you get to know me, the more you'll see that you and I are cut from the same cloth. Men like us are the last rebels of the American Revolution. We just wage our war with more sophisticated tools. We've come a long way since the flintlock. I really hate these bastards. I ask myself over and over, why the hell should I help them? We do what we do for justice, don't we, Agent Terranova? Your ass. 
Gracias.